What's up, guys? It's your boy, Barca boy, 103. Just finished watching the match, and Barcelona dropped points. They drew three, fucking three, with Granada at the Montjuic. Listen, I have been watching Barcelona since 2007. I would say religiously since 2010. I have never seen a Barcelona side this bad defensively and at home in my life. I get it, it's not the Camp Nou, it's technically not our home stadium, but in our home venue this year. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, we did not defend this badly against Bayern when we lost 8-2. It is that bad. I... I <sighs> Season's dead, right? Like it, it died when we lost in the Super Cup. Yes, but I just don't want to suffer from now until May. Do I really have to sit here and watch this shite team week in, week out? I'm basically watching it at this point just to watch Lamen Yamal, who is the best talent I've seen come out of La Masia also in my life. I wasn't there when Messi made his debut in 2006, but since then, I've never seen a player of this caliber like Lamen Yamal. The, the kid's a freak of nature. I mean, he is our only outlet. He's been our only impactful player and only player who's performing at a consistent basis, at a good consistent basis. I think Lemanya Yamal and Gundogan are the only two players today that can leave with their head held high and maybe Kubarsi as well. I think everyone else was wank. Absolutely wank. I think there's Stegen. <laughs> Listen, I hyped up the Der Stegen return. I will admit it. My God, was he shit today. Holy. He made about four mistakes in the first four minutes. He made some good saves. Again, for the goals, I mean, near post. What else is new? It was a good finish from the player, to be fair. But Der Stegen near post just doesn't come into it. Other one was just a sweat. And the third one, he got a hand to it and hit the post and just went in. So for the goals, I don't really expect anything else. But I think his performance today wasn't the best. Uh, especially on the ball when he's making mistakes. Uh, Kunde, this is his top three worst performance I've seen uh, from him. Probably the worst alongside Sociedad at home last season when I was in the stadium. And he got hooked at halftime. Again, Kunde is not really uh, defending his case of his future in the summer. By the way, in terms of the summer and what we're going to do, I honestly don't give a shit at this point. I mean, this team is so dead to me. Whatever the club do, I'm not going to sit here and defend players. I'll give my opinion, but... My god, I don't care. Uh, Kubarsi, I think Kubarsi played well. He made a lot of good passes today. Again, for the goal um, where the slip-up happened between him and Kunde, it was more so Kunde's fault than Kubarsi. Kubarsi was covering his area, but Kunde was the one that ran into him. So I think Kubarsi, alongside Gundo 1 and Lemanyamal, is part of that good category. I think Indigo wasn't that great today either. I think his long-range passing, which we like from that left foot, was not up to scratch today either. I think he did a lot of a good defensive recoveries, to be fair to him, but I think it wasn't the best performance. I think Cancelo was shockingly poor as well, was pitching and winding a lot in this game. Yes, he got the good assist for the Lemanya Mal opener, credit where it's due for that. Apart from that, he was he was wank. I mean, there's a reason why Chavez had to take him off when we still want to go forward. He was not good whatsoever. I think even on the... Um, Defensive transition was nowhere to be seen whatsoever. Uh, he had the poor job of marking that whole entire left flank by himself, which again comes down to Javi, but executed to absolutely piss poor performance in my opinion. Frankie de Jong, bloody hell man, the guy just runs about, doesn't really do much. I think on the ball he's alright, but off the ball he was just absolutely shit today. Uh, Pedri, he tried and tried and tried, he looked alright in the final third, was having some good link-up play. But I don't, I don't know, man. I have high expectations for Pedri because I've seen him play at the highest level so many times. And today, I think, was a bit of an off day for him. I think Gundogan was absolutely brilliant. I think the link-up he had with Lewandowski was superb. Was making some good passes as well. Dropped off a bit, I would say, past the 85th minute where I'm looking at his passes thinking, you're making the wrong decisions now, rushing to conclusions. But I think he kind of dropped off with the rest of the team. I think Christensen in the pivot had a solid first ha uh, solid half an hour. I uh, was winning the ball a lot back in the midfield. He actually won the ball back that created the... Uh, Lemanya Mal opener, but second half he dropped off a bit and then Chavi hooked him. Uh, Lemanya Mal, of course, made the match absolutely brilliant. Uh, Lua Disney, I mean, fucking hell, man. If he just scores that uh, chance in the big, uh, in the uh, near the end of the first half, that's 2 0, and you never know what happens at that point, but you're in a good position. Um, I think, again, he's doing back heels and roulettes uh, in the 95th minute when we're trying to chase the game. Just stupid shit like that. I mean, he basically he created some good chances, got a goal as well. So I guess there's a little bit of confidence there with him, which is a good thing. But my God, wank as well. Look, the reality of the case is that season's dead. So what, oh, there's nothing for me to criticize. And, you know, this is what I expect. 
this is what I expect. I thought we'd come out here and beat a relegation contender, especially after Girona and Atletico Madrid both dropped points. We did not capitalize on that whatsoever. Yes, we narrowed down the gap with uh, getting a point, but that's not good enough. I think second place still definitely on. I think we will get second place in the end, but we're just going to be riding out this season at this point. I mean, what are you going to say? Chavi out? I mean, he's already leaving at the end of the season. I think Chavi today piss poor from him. I think he picked a very, very strong team, which I was surprised about. I was expecting maybe one or two changes. He only made one. In-game management was shocking as well. So, so late on his substitutions and so spread out as well. He brought him for a minute, I think in the 70th minute, then uh, Rafinha 77th, and then Mark Guayu 87th minute. He was, it's so, like, it's like he purposely is trying to sabotage this on purpose because He's relying so much on his Gala 11. When his Gala 11 needs improvement, it's not good enough, especially when you're under the cost trying to chase the game. Again, the main story today is the defensive performance. From whether it was Kunde, Inigo, uh, Joao Cancelo, I think defensively, especially in transition, we were nothing short but an absolute disgrace. I've seen prime Jeremy Matthew. I've seen prime Thomas Vermaelen. I've seen prime... Oh, to be fair, Vermaelen was all right. I've seen prime Longlet, prime Umtiti. I've seen Marlon play at center back. I've seen the amount of shit center backs I've seen at this club. I've never seen a worse collective unit defensive performance than tonight. I mean, everything, everything went wrong. And I think all these players are not really making a good case for themselves to stay at Barcelona. I don't know if they want to stay. I don't know if they want to go out. But again, can you blame it on Xavi? I don't know. He's picking the, he picked the best back uh, back in line apart from Aruho. So what else can he really do? Um, it's just... It's just, you know, deflating. I, I, I really have nothing to add because I think everything's already been said this season. The season is dead. The players are not up to scratch. They're not performing well. Xavi's not performing uh, well as a manager as well. I, there's nothing for me to add whatsoever. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna go see if, if Chavi said anything because I really am curious to see what he puts the blame on. I think again the referee in this game was a bit dodgy, but I think he was fair as well. Chavi says congratulations to Hernanda and their coach for their approach. We were had a very clear 2-0 opportunity, but from when we had made mistakes, we could not allow it, like giving away goals in defense. So again, he's blaming the defensive output. Um, they're saying, saying the goals were conceded a few minutes apart and are tough to take. We can't let this happen again. We're about to. Uh, Come back. I mean, again, we made the comeback, and then we, uh, you know, uh, throw it away. Granada again, one of the worst teams in the league. This is their only uh, point. They've only gotten uh, two points away from home this season. One against Al Maria, who are rock bottom, and now Barcelona uh, at the Montjuic. Again, this is for we gotta get back to the Cap New ASAP because this form at the Montjuic, I've never seen Barcelona be this poor at home. Look at our home results this season: loss of Villarreal. Uh, lost to uh, Real Madrid, Girona, dropping points to Granada. We've gotten a few other draws here as well. It's been nothing short but absolute calamity. And again, I'm not blaming uh, the board or anything for putting us in the Montjuic. Of course not, but it's just been nothing short of an abysmal season for Barcelona. And this is going to be on track with one of the worst seasons that I've seen as a Barcelona fan. I didn't think anything would get worse than the 1920 season because, of course, you had COVID on top of that and everything else that happened that season, but... This might be worse. I mean, if we continue on like this, we don't get second place. This might be the worst season I've ever witnessed as a Barcelona fan. 13-14, we went, won the Super Cup only. We lost in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We lost the league on the final day. Um, I wouldn't count it. I'm looking at the trophy of the season because you can't really count a, a terrible season if you've won a trophy, like a Copa, La Liga, or Champions League. Like, even the 21-22 the season when Xavi came in, we had a little bit of hype. We won the Bernabeu 4-0. No, there was at least something about that season. We finished second after being ninth uh, after, like, 12 games in. But, like, this, we are on course for the worst season I've experienced <laughs> as a Barcelona fan right after winning the double last season. Crazy season. Anyways, overall summary is that, again, the defense has cost us this game yet again. The story of our season. The sky is blue. The grass is green. We just have to go through the motions here and see what happens in the Napoli game because now the whole entire season rides on what, how we do in the Champions League. Literally reads that point. To be fair, away from home, our record hasn't been um, the the worst. I think we've been more poor at home than we have been away this season. 
So maybe if we go to uh, Napoli, go to the Maradona Stadium, we get a good result, they'll bring it back to the Monju Week and survive. We might, you know, progress to the uh, quarterfinals. Napoli did lose today to AC Milan, so they're on a terrible run of form. Their striker, Victor Oshiman, just lost the AFCON final as well. So they're in a very similar situation to us. It's going to be a very, very even game, and we'll put it that way. But again, we're going to wait for the Champions League. Briar died then. We're going to try and push for second place in La Liga still because we're only, I think, five points behind uh, Genona with, you know, few games left to go we still gotta play of course Bernabeu we gotta go to Luanda we gotta go to Montalivi we still have to go to SMMS as well again don't forget that so sharp your seatbelts because these final few months of the season is gonna be hell absolute hell of course in the comments down below leave me your thoughts on everything we discussed your thoughts on the performance uh, your individual player analysis and also on the manager as well and of course make sure you guys subscribe down below please help me make you feel better I think we're about 15 subscribers away from 31,000 on the channel so Please help me survive through these absolutely destroying moments and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and Forza Barca.